I'm going to talk to you today about why I think IWMY could be the best out of the three defiant funds going forward and the strengths that it possesses. This is Mike, the tactical stock scalper. All right, all right. So if we look here, we're just going to look at the Qs here, uh, which is an ETF of the NASDAQ. And what we see here with markets are rises up for a couple of years or whatever, and then a fall back down, and then a rise up, and then a fall back down. What this is, is money flows and the cycle nature of the market. The market runs in cycles, right? The Qs do it. Let's look at a SPY, right? We, we see here that the market runs in cycles. It goes up and comes down, goes up and comes down, which is right now why I'm waiting for a pullback uh, from uh, the major markets because of this, because it runs in cycles, Right? Well, let's look at IWM. Okay? Look at this versus the market. So just take a snapshot of this, right? We, we have this IWM chart. Compare it with, let's say, the Qs. Totally different kind of chart and totally different type of movement. And this is why I think IWMY has the potential to be the best. Now, the volatility, the IV, which is what makes the money for IWMY and all the defiance funds, why the, the, why the IV is so high is because of a channel like this, right? We go up to 200, sell off, come back down, get close to this 170, 160 area, and then do it all over again, you know, week after week, month after month, at least for the last two years, it has done this, right? So because it has, you know, it goes up and down a lot more often than, let's say, the queues, right? Or the markets, the markets will run up in time together, and then, like over here, they'll fall in time together, and it's over the course of a period of time. Whereas IWM does this. It stays in these channels. Now, just look. It wasn't the only channel. Back here was another wonderful channel. I made a lot of money uh, trading IWM during these periods because this is what it has done now for the last four to five years. Pretty incredible. So the IV is higher here because of this, because of the movement of the underlying of, of the Russell and IWM, which is an ETF of the Russell. So we see this here, right? So we have the channels here. We had a channel here. Pre-COVID, we had a channel here. This is what it does. Now, when you had COVID, of course, everything ripped up afterwards. Uh, this is uh, not unlike any of the other markets. They all ripped up after the COVID drop that you see right there in 2020. I think uh, for the, you know, at least for the foreseeable future, <coughs> IWMY or IWM rather, the Russell, will continue to trade in channels like this. Now, that's not saying it can't break. As you see, when it gets to 200, it sells off. That's not saying it can't break out of 200 and go back up to this other channel area and start creating channels up there. So at least for a while, I think it's going to continue to trade in these types of channels create at least for the next couple of years it looks like unless small caps just fall off the face of the planet right it looks like we're going to continue to trade in these types of channels uh for years to come honestly now the, here's one downside and we just have to see this is just what i'm watching and, and it'll take time of course to figure this out i do think there is one weakness with iwmy uh, that we're not going to have with the uh, jepy or qqqy so you see here we're not getting stock appreciation right it, it, it trades in a channel in levels so when it gets to 200 roughly it sells off goes down to the 165 170 area bounces and goes back up, right? It just stays in this $20, $30 channel versus here on the queues, right? We have opportunity for stock price appreciation in addition to the dividend. So 
Um, I think IWMY will continue to produce um, high dividends relative to its uh, its price on IWMY, and uh, and I think the same thing with the Qs. But what's great about the difference between these is we have stock price appreciation through here and dividends. And IWM, we're not going to lose a ton of stock price. The only price we're going to be losing on IWMY is when we have the dividend drop. Now, the question will be, can it get back up, the stock price of IWMY, once we start seeing these dividends come through over the next few months? Can that stock price get back up? That's going to be a tough road for it just because of the way it trades and channels. So with IWMY, my plan is to be much slower and because I know this thing. Just by looking at this and the way these high-yield funds work, it's going to have a very difficult time keeping uh, a stock price up. It's going to be... You know, more unfortunately, more like a Tesla of late, where the stock price of TSLY continues to decline, right? And it's having a hard time getting up. At least Tesla has that potential, right, with Tesla to, to get back up. I'm not sure if IWMY will be able to sustain its stock price. So you got to be very careful, I think. And so you're not in the hole all the time. You know, like the dividends aren't replacing the money you're losing from your initial investment. For me, for IWMY, knowing how these funds work and knowing how this chart trades, I'm going to have to wait till the best dip I can find each month, which may come just from uh, the dividend drop right after X state. And that may be the only time to buy these. Uh, it's going to be Interesting to see how these play out. But because of the volatility on IWM and the Russell Index, um, we should see uh, really good uh, dividend payments for a very long time, as long as it stays in these ranges like it has for the past four to five years. Hope you enjoyed the content. This is Mike, Tactical Stock Scalper, out.